Okay, so I ordered this charger, the Thunder Power, or Thunder Tiger AC680 from Holly Parts. I think it's like 54 bucks or something. Um, this is just the unboxing. So, when we open it up, first off, it gives you a little LiPo battery warning is how to safely charge the LiPos. Then, here, we have our, I guess, it would be our DC power. So, from like a 12 volt battery, whatever. Um, then this, wow, this is going to be our massive plugs that we can charge stuff with. That's kind of messy. Alright. I'll have a look at that in a second. Alright. This here is a temperature sensor. You can put it in a LiPo bag if you're um, charging the LiPo. Um, and so if, if it gets too hot, it'll shut it down. Um, this is a USB cable to, uh, get to program the data, or program the charger and get the data from the charger onto your computer. Um, this here is the balance plug. So you plug the scent into the charger here. And then you just plug your battery, so 2 cell, 3 cell, 4 cell, 5 cell, 6 cell, into just any one of those plugs. Balance that. And this one, this is to plug it into your computer. Plugs into the same spot where the, uh, where the, this to guide temperature sensor does. So you can only have one in that tar. Alright, so that's the power cord. This is for AC power. It does have a power, uh, uh, inverter built right in there. Oh, and then here's the operating manual. There we go. Okay. So there it is. Thunder AC680 charger. It's got, looks pretty nice. It's got buttons there. On this side, that's your AC power. That would be your DC power. And then this is where you put the uh, temperature gauge or the USB cord. On the other side here, uh, this is where you put your uh, charger lead, whichever one you're going to use, and the balancer goes into here. Um, yeah, looks like looks like it's a pretty decent charger. It's all made of aluminum. It's got the heat sink fins on the back and a fan at the front. It's pretty good. It was packaging pretty good in some bubble wrap. And it's all fits pretty nice and tight in this box. It's perfect. Couldn't really wiggle around a lot. Looks pretty good. Now, let's have a look at this. So this is the uh, the leads that you use to plug your battery into. Um, let's see. Okay. See on the box, where is it? It shows there, they're all one lead. They're all in one. Apparently, that's nice. They're all just one itself. They're not all together. So, here we've got like the bullet banana style connectors. This one, I think it's a Tamiya connector or Molex. Um, this one, it's just to charge lead acid batteries. This one here is for glow plugs for nitro cars. Uh, this one here, I'm not sure, I think this one's for receiver battery packs, maybe. And then this one here, JST, airplanes, lots of airplanes use these. So, that's good. Now, I'll be using this to charge my airplane packs, which use JST, and uh, my traction packs, which don't use Molex, but I do have a Molex to Traxxas adapter, which will work great. Um, so... I don't have to buy a new one. You can buy new leads to plug into your charger. I could just use the standard plugs there. So, yeah, let's just plug this one, one in real quick. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so it looks like it goes in there pretty well. Yeah, looks like it's going to be a great charger, guys. It was packed, packed in there really well. It's got the manual. Lots of information, looks like. Yep, tons of information in there. And it's a pretty nice box. So, it looks like a good charger. I might do a review later. Um, yep. Yeah, that's pretty good.